Gator Golf USA, welcome back to another Whatnot series unboxing. Almost lost my train of thought. Uh, I found a couple things that probably didn't get open in another video, so at least I don't think so. It's still wrapped up. And then we'll do a box. This is episode 29, I believe. Epic Flash from Callaway. Epic Flash. Probably a five woody cover. I think this is from Nico. Epic. This is still a flash, so just an epic head cover for the driver. I think that's from Nico Top World. It says uh, Epic and Rogue. Nope. Epic Flash. Scotty Cameron playing cards. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I want to open them, but I'm curious to see what they look like. I don't know if it hurts value or not, but I want to see what see what the king and queen look like. Pretty fancy. Ooh. Oh, oh. I haven't had a deck of cards in my hand forever. Okay, there's the first one. Joker. Oh yeah, there's the ace. Uh, the two, everything looks normal. Everything looks normal. So, right through the ten. Ten looks normal. Yeah, very slippery. Jack. Queen. Pretty cool. And King. The Ace of Diamonds. All right. That down. Hey, Jack of the Cactus. <coughs> Queen. King. King of Clubs. Look at that. Ooh, devilish. Three clubs. Kind of goes with the Masters or St. Panty's Day. All right. Ten clubs. All the way through. Speed Racer. King Arts. Ooh. 
Queen of Hearts. And Jack of Hearts. He's all Scotty Cameron. And Ace of Hearts. Has he been drinking Tito's? And you get a little information on Scotty Cameron. Um, there's something about Scotty Circle T. We'll read about it. Scotty Circle T, the brand is born. Inspired by a local steakhouse ad featuring the red hot cattle brand, Scotty Circle T logo has become an emblem of excellence in the world of golf. So why a circle? During his early days of making putters and after a few mix-ups in shipping, Scotty needed a way to clearly designate putters headed to the PGA Tour. Remembering the brand seared into the porterhouse, he drew in red he drew in red marker a circle letter T on a simple gray head cover on, on the simple gray head covers protecting his custom prototypes. Those putters were special. They were going to tour. As Scotty Putters gained notoriety, he began hand stamping hand stamp he began to hand stamp a circle T on all his tour only putters. Word spread and players spe specifically asked for Scotty Circle T's. Today and then a circle T signifies a putter or product. Made to be played at our game's highest level. That was pretty hard. And the seven point crown. Necessity breeds in invention. Before one of his putters had ever been hoisted to victory. By a player on the Worldwide Professional Golf Tour, Scotty Cameron toiled away in his garage workshop, making putters one at a time. It took him about seven days to create a handmade putter. When one was finished, though it was premium, it was Scotty's intention to create the finest mill putters in the world. And he needed a logo, something that, something to represent his passion for excellence. He always loved the idea of a crown without a marketing budget or money to engrave his putters. He grabbed his letter stamp set, his favorite mallet, and got to work. Creatively, creatively using a few letters a few letter B's upside down above a sideways O, Scotty hammered his crown into steel. He accented the points with seven strikes of the period to represent the days spent crafting the handmade putter. Seven point crowns was stamped into history. Hey, we got a little scant Scotty Cameron background there. So, I should have a Scotty. Anyways, that's pretty cool. Scotty Cameron playing cards for sale. Any poker players out there who like Scotty Camerons? I'm not even going to shuffle them. They'll be there like they are. Get in the comments below if you want the Scotty Cameron playing cards. You see me open them. All right, let's get to a box. 
Gator bait is the shirt tonight. Gator bait. Oh, I can't get him to seal. There we go. Boxed up. All right. Going to the back. Oh boy, another big box. Oh. What's the chance there's an invoice? Any ping fans out there? I got four shafts. They are. Uh, AWT 2.0s. It's like, uh, I think, uh, 7, 8, 9 pitching wedge, I believe. Uh, okay, here we go. Look the size of this sucker. This is from Thrifty Golf. Rifty Golf. What do we got in the box? Got a couple of hats. Got an invoice. Oh, Don't give too much away yet. Got that over there. Try not to knock over the lighting. Okay. Fifty standard postcard. And thank you again for all your support during the shows. Appreciate you. Threw in an extra gift for your, into your boxes as a thanks. Ooh, we'll get an extra gift. How about that? Thank you, Thrifty. We don't like an extra gift. Got another left-handed club. Ooh, I like that. All right. Let's get to it then. I didn't see the hats on there. Let's see. All right, let me see. Let me go back here. I was trying to rush him through it. Oh, 
I think the hats were the gifts. <laughs> These must be the extra gifts. No way. No way. Puma. Check that invoice again. There's no way he gave me a Puma hat. I did win a Puma Bluetooth speaker from him, but that was a, a giveaway. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Isn't that freaking cool? New tags. Called the Leather Patch by Bridgestone. Leather Patch. Wow. Well, the Puma don't need to come out of the bag. You can see that pretty good. That is gorgeous. Puma hat, $35. Thank you, Thrifty. That is amazing. Let me double check. I gotta put that back in there. Gotta have some Bridgestone fans. Golf balls and clubs. The Tiger is trying that. He's still playing Bridgestone balls. So. One second. Oh no. That's why I put you back in the bag. What? Nope, those hats were freebies. This is that Bridgestone I unveiled the other day. Look at that. That's the USA colors in there. I don't know if it's sticking out very well. This one fits real good. So along that big box. That we got a little dank caddy. I'm almost afraid to unwrap this, but we gotta see it. This looks like Callaway staff bag or cart bag, if you will. I do have a few Callaway clubs. Rogue driver, rogue five wood, rogue seven wood. say this is just a cart bag. You could carry it though. Look at that. Brand new. It's uh, a Chev 14. 14 dividers. There was the original price on it. 
Gator didn't pay that much for it. It's a cal it says 14 it's a 14 pocket. So we'll reattach that. Still got the the air pouches in there for shipping. Oh man, this is beautiful. Still got the cardboard in there. Got the rain cover. That is a gem. Oh, I'm surprised. Very pleased. Look at that. Thumbnail. Wow. Brand new. Here's your place for your umbrella back there. I'm not showing you very good. I'm just looking at it. Yeah, this is a very simple, very light. Wow, that's crazy. Thumbs up, Thrifty. All right, we'll get to the clubs now. I'll break off a little piece of this tape. So we can attach I know you don't want to see this but I got to do it the shipping tape don't want to cooperate Very sticky to my fingers. There we go. Just so happens I got a space back here for it. Excuse my back. I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. That ain't going to stay up there. All right, let's get to the clubs. Oh, get the hands out of the way, Gator. Ooh, that was dangerous. Don't be dangerous. Cut away, cut away. All right, that ought to do it. Maybe we got some hidden gems in here too, huh? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Well, let's have some fun. In. All right. More knife action. Careful. Don't oh, cut into the grip. There we go. Got away, got away. A Dixie land. Woo. All 
of that. We got, looks like we got four. Do, 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 do. How in the world did you stretch that rubber band like that? All right. More rubber bands. We don't need that many. Whoop. Boom. Got them. Oh, one of these is new in the wrapper. We'll save that one for last then. All right, what do we got? Let's go with this one. Looks like a Cleveland Launcher 5 wood. 19 degrees. Oh, classic. Pretty nice. What do we got for a face? That's had some balls hit with it, right? No, not terrible. Top line is great. And then we have a regular flex Cleveland launcher gold. The shaft was co-designed by Picadura for the launcher. Show you top line already. Grip is a Cleveland grip, so it's pretty good shape. Ooh, nice. Slider back here. I do -do 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 Probably just in time. I need another bag, even though I just opened one. All right, what do we got up next? This is the left-hander. Yep, we have uh, Adam's Idea. A70S 4-iron four, four hybrid. Looks like a top line. This little bag chatter on there. It's nice and smooth. Probably just needs a Mr. Clean sponge. Um, hybrid. Oh, it's got a Pro Launch Access Technology regular shaft graphloy. Holy smokes. I don't know. They might have came standard on that. Um... Base is really nice. Here's the bottom. Got a little bit of wear. Maybe from the range mats. Definitely not abused. Got a just a standard grip on it. Feels brand new. Alright, where are my left handers at? They're over here. I got a whole lot of Adams. What do we got here? Speaking of Adams, A12 oversized. It's got a Pro Launch Blue 60 gram regular flex. Launch monitor tune technology. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that shaft before. All right, it's got a golf pride grip on it. Very nice, fairly new. Oh, we're at a half hour already, wow. Okay, it is a two hybrid, am I thinking right? It's a two iron, it's a lot on a two iron. I don't know. What do you think? 17? 18? Here's the face. 
Base is pretty mint. There's the top line. Again, a little bag chatter maybe. Needs the sponge. Ooh, that is sweet. I like it. Thrifty, you got some good shit going on here. All right. And le last but not least, we have Taylor made high toe wedge raw finish. Is it a 60? Yeah, this is 60. I have the. I think mine's a 54 sandwich. I got it last year at the PGA Superstore, I think. I absolutely love it. This wedge retailed for $179.99. Member price $164. And it has a KBS shaft on it. 2.0, 115 grams. KBS. Uh, that's 115 grams. I know somebody would want it. Because that is too heavy for me. That is freaking sweet. Should we take the cover off of it? Or should I leave it on? Let's unwrap it. Yeah, that one's that wasn't the easy thing I thought. Um You see there, it's like sealed on. I don't want to scratch it. You have to be very careful. I mean, I don't want to scratch me. I do it good. Yeah, that's definitely on there. They sealed that puppy up really nice. Easy. Easy. Alright, we're getting somewhere now. Let's go all the way around. All the way around. Anybody play Taylor Mary High Toes besides me? I know there's some Cleveland fans out there, some Callaway Jaws fans, some Taylor Made Mill fans. Heck, there might even be some uh, Kirkland Wedge fans out there. See, Kirkland came out with their irons, and now they're being sued by TaylorMade. So I guess you can't buy the irons right now until the lawsuit settled. Wow, that's wrapped up there. Oh. All right, now we're getting into the meat of it. Sweet. All right, here we go, folks. But y'all came to see. It's got the raw finish. Oh, look at that. Let's see if that helps getting it out here. Nope. Is it? That's, see, it appears upside down to me, but I know it's right side up for you. I told.
360. Is there some other stuff on there? Nope, just the TaylorMade logo. Right there. Oh, that might come out better. Look at that. She's a beaut. That's what I'm saying, full face. Let's even got a, a different groove method than mine. So what are we calling this? It's tour preferred. Will rust. What does it say? Will rust after removal. Well, I'm not taking it off. This will be purchased. Look at that. That is so nice. KBS shaft on there to top it off. Um, TaylorMade grip. Again, let's show you that. Probably the best iron shafts in the market, yeah? Wow. That shaft is... It's a... I mean, it's a lob wedge. It might be too heavy for me, though. But we shall see. All right, we'll put that in the new Callaway bag. That's pretty cool. All right, that's going to wrap it up. This one's running longer than I expected, but we had some bangers in there. Callaway bag matched the Callaway Den Caddy. We got two free hats. Two free hat, a Puma hat for the Gator. What was the other one? Oh, the Brigstone leather patch hat. All right. And don't forget the USA 2020 Ryder Cup hat, still for sale. Got one left. Again, thanks, Drifty. That'll do it for tonight. Um, I think this is episode 29, thereabouts. I ran a couple of special editions, so if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Stay tuned for the next Whatnot Auction Unboxing, and we'll catch you later, Gators. Bye.